As soon as Drake moves and makes eye contact with me and I stare at him, I see the, his second right hand man and he nods at me like this. Drake slams Fousey Tubes claims that he was showing up to his concert. Plus, Drake and Black China were spotted getting cozy at a nightclub, sparking tons of dating rumors, and we have all the exclusive details. Hey guys, it's Allie for Hollywood Life, and Drake finally thanked Shiggy for boosting his track in my feelings and helping it get to number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart by creating the Shiggy Challenge. Oh my goodness. Man got me a number one record today. However, like most challenges, things are starting to get very dangerous. Oh my God. Guys, please don't Drake and drive. Stay safe. Speaking of driving, TMZ obtained footage of Drake and his driver getting yelled at by an Uber driver after they accidentally hit his car door right outside Delilah in West Hollywood. Idiot. Not sure who's in their feelings more, Drake or the Uber driver. What happened? Oh, you paparazzi. <laughs> You okay, it's definitely the Uber driver. On to Drizzy and Black China, the two were spotted getting cozy at the nice guy in Hollywood, sparking dating rumors and even some pregnancy rumors. <laughs> you serious? Yeah, well, we're hearing exclusively China was at Drake's table all night and they were talking and flirting a lot, but they did not hook up. We hear Black is very happy with her on again, off again boyfriend, YBN Almighty J, and Drake is simply a good friend who she's known for almost 10 years. Adding to this, we're also hearing before meeting up with Drake, China was at an ESPYs party until midnight at the Beverly Hills Hotel and refused to take pictures with anyone who asked and was on her phone the entire time, surrounded by an entourage of six or seven people. At the event, China wasn't flirting with anyone, but she was drinking, so that probably squashes any pregnancy rumors that may be floating around. On to Drake slamming Fousey Tube. Recall Fousey promoted his July 15th Hate Dies Love Arrives event, which eventually got shut down because of a bomb threat. Fousey had been using Drake's name to promote the event, claiming he was going to show up and revealed to ex's former manager, Adam22 Shane Dawson and Keemstar on how they actually met. Not going to show the clip because Fousey's story is way too long and confusing, but no jumper, that stream was amazing. But okay, according to The Blast, Drake never met the YouTuber, he was never booked for Fousey show, and he's never even heard of him. Actually, I think we have footage of Drake's reaction to Fousey. Wait a minute, who are you? But all right, you guys can click right up here to subscribe, hit that bell button down below for all the latest on Drake and the people who wanna be his friends, like me. I wanna be Drake's friend.